Hey everybody, I'm Alicia Gentile and welcome to Monday's episode of The Boaters TV. First up, let's see what's making waves in nautical news. President Bush is gone fishing. President George W. Bush guest starred on ESPN2's Offshore Adventure. The stars of the show, Chris and Melissa Fisher, met up with George W. to fish at Chesapeake Bay for striped bass. What would a fishing show with the president be without politics? Chris and Melissa witnessed the president sign an executive order protecting striped bass and red drum fish species at the end of the show. The Power and Motor Yacht blog, written by Captain Eileen Murphy, posted an excerpt from Offshore Adventures and Fisher Promotions, saying the episode shows a side of the president rarely seen. And I'm not talking about signing executive orders to help America. The episode shows unscripted and casual conversation between Bush and the Fishers about conservation, sustainable fisheries, family, and fishing. Ah, we get to see George's sensitive side. To read more on this story, you can cruise on over to www.offshoreadventures.tv or to the Power and Motor Yacht blog at www.pmyeditors.blogspot.com. Next up in our smooth sailing segment, Miami is helping sailors prepare for the Olympics. The U.S. Sailing's Rolex Miami OCR is coming up. The event serves as an international primer for the Olympic and Paralympic Games in Qingdao, China. The 2008 Rolex Miami OCR consists of five days of fleet racing from Monday, January 28th through Friday, February 1st, and one day of top 10 medal racing for Olympic classes only on Saturday, February 2nd. The medal racing will be replicating the new Olympic format that will debut in Quindao. Sailors from around the globe will be at the Miami Rolex OCR. The USA, Canada, and Great Britain have the largest contingents at 24, 15, and 11 teams and will be sending their final teams or selecting the teams who move on to the Olympic or Paralympic Games based on the results at this popular International Sailing Federation Grade 1 ranking event. The pressure is on. Greece needs to play hard too. The 2008 Yingling Worlds, which immediately follow the Rolex Miami OCR, will decide the final four nations to qualify for the Olympic Yingling event in China. Greece is one of the countries trying to secure a spot. The USA is already qualified. For complete and up-to-the-minute regatta information and resources, including the notice of race, entry list, online registration, schedule, hosts, and area information, please visit www.rolexmiamiocr.org. Next up in Just for the Hull of It, can Hollywood make a movie that accurately captures the boating lifestyle? new releases and still only a small portion of them deal with boating, aside from the obvious fantasies such as Pirates of the Caribbean and Waterworld. Boat US has selected some of the modern classics that top their own special categories in Elaine Dickinson's article, Must See Cinema Classics. The most thrilling charter fishing trip is given to Jaws. Over three decades later, Jaws still sets the standard for a downright frightening thrill ride of a movie. Who can hear the theme song and not get the chills? With so much attention on the state of today's oceans and shark attacks, the fear the film generated is the only unfortunate legacy from one of Hollywood's greatest fish stories. As for the next category, we'll scare you silly whether you sail or not, Dead Calm takes this slot. This is one of Nicole Kidman's first films. It is about a couple who is trying to get over the loss of their child by taking an extended cruise. The next day they are surrounded by evil 
not supernatural evil, but human evil, which makes the movie even creepier. I just need to know if that boat is sinking. Almost every scene is on board a boat, giving the movie a realistic touch. For major thrillers that have tried to capture the cruising life, Dead Calm remains one of the best. For best trip back in time, life at sea as it really was, Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World tops this category. Starring Russell Crowe, this film depicts the gritty side of life aboard a warship in the 1800s. The beauty of the sea voyage and the terror of men in raging wind and waves are a combo that never fails when the acting and directing are top notch. Deep Water lands the spot for best documentary, The Perfect Storm made the cut for the most frightening marine weather forecast, and the movie Madison leads the category for celebrates an obsession with speedboats. I personally love the movie Houseboat. That tops my category for the best boating romance. And finally today, it's time to reveal Alicia's The Boaters.com Celebrity Profile Pick of the Day, which is Captain Charlie Holliker and his 26-foot 1975 PY-26 Payship Sailboat Sea Shadow. Here's Sea Shadow in the shadow of the night. Charlie likes to keep his boat squeaky clean. For a new member, Charlie has plenty of great photos and information about his boat. Welcome Captain Charlie and congrats on reaching sea celebrity status. And that's a wrap of this episode of The Boaters TV. Be sure to check back here on Wednesday.